ho, 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 Street Now News taking you around the world. Front page headlines all around the world. And now we're going to take you to our headline number five. And that's going to be from the continent of Asia. We're taking you all the way to the China Times. I'm sorry, the China Daily. The China Daily. As you know, we're talking today about headlines around the world. When, of course, you know what's going on right here in your own vicinity. You know what's going on right here in Washington, D.C. Yeah, you know, we're dealing with the coronavirus and we have a new president, new vice president. We're all proud. We have all these things going on. But what about around the world when other people have to make decisions about us, around us, timely decisions? Well, we want to know what's going on and what's happening to make the decisions. People make their decisions based on what's priority in their lives at that particular time. Not everybody prioritizes the same decision the same. Someone may prioritize the exact same decision that you see as life-threatening or life-saving. They may prioritize it low based on what's going on in their life. For that reason, we're going around the world. We're looking at what the headlines are, are saying is happening in some of these other places all around the world. We've given you four of them already. We went to Jerusalem, talked about the Jerusalem Post. We went to the Caribbean, talked about the Jamaica Observer. We moved on down to Atlanta, talked about the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. We went further down south, talked about the Birmingham News. And right now, we're all the way across in Asia talking about the China Daily. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford, and we'll be right on back with that. When I say with that, we're talking about what is gracing the front pages of those newspapers. China Daily is a very prominent newspaper in uh, China, and that website is chinadaily.com.cn. And um, what we are looking at is the front page for January the 29th, 2021. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it right now. China Daily is talking about health care, too. Well, we saw Jamaica was talking about health care. We know what health care means here in America. Well, health care has been prioritized. Abbott Travel Rush as the front page story of the China Daily. In addition to health care being prioritized, we also have key meetings called for improving governance efficiency. Looking like, uh, look like someone's thinking about being efficient and effective. If they're one and the same, or if not, but being efficient is one of the things they're looking at there. Looking at also here, China has U.S. on the mind, on, on, on their mind there, in their news. China, U.S. advised to refresh ties. Now, new administration in Washington is what it's talking about here, urged to employ positive policies. New administration in Washington urged to employ positive policies. Now, the officials, according to the first couple lines here, officials um, and experts have urged China and the United States to reshape their damaged relationship. And called on the new United States administration uh, to to bring about positive policies to refresh with uh, ties with Beijing to benefit both nations of the world. Uh, so that's on the minds of China has advised to refresh ties with Beijing. 
I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. This particular news is coming to you from Street Now News here in Washington, D.C. We want to thank you so much for your listening here, and we are still coming. We are still coming to you because we're not done yet with the China Daily. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. Another front page story here is a spring festival takeout trade uh, posed to take off there. there. And uh, it appears that the first day of the 12th lunar month and the number of scratch of the lunar month i'm not sure exactly what's it about but that is the the it's expected to be infected uh, to impacted by the pandemic um fast food sorry fast data sharing boosts global virus fight it looks like uh, fast data sharing boost global virus fight uh, and that's on the front page of the China Daily. Now, in addition to promoting r- r- better ties with the United States, according to the front page of the China Daily for February the 29th, uh, January the 29th, I don't know why I continue to say February, not February yet, for January the 29th, Friday, it's Friday, it looks like the president promote cooperation with Bolivia also. Uh, and the uh, So they are saying that China and Bolivia should make plans to promote practical cooperation and push forward to build uh, a better base, according to China's president. Uh, Other parts of the newspaper is we uh, have uh, on page 11 there of China Daily. Andrew Yang is running for New York mayor, New York City mayor. So we have a uh, uh, a China countryman who's running for mayor who's gracing the cover of China Daily all the way across the globe, all the way across the globe. Well, this particular news is from Street Now News, and this is our headline number five for today for Street Now News. We said we're going to give you three to five. We're having such a wonderful time in looking at these headlines all across the world. Um, that we might bring you a couple more. We'll see. We'll see. But right now, this is number five. Five headlines across the world telling you what the other nations, what the others are thinking about, where their mindset is, what they are prioritizing, pulsing their communities. And you have to, you have to know that this, um, that what's going on across the globe. And another person's nation is going to affect his or her decision here. If you have some of some of the countrymen here in America, in Washington D.C., these things are going to be on their mind. Yeah, absolutely. When they make decisions here, so I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford, bringing you our headline news, um, front pages for the day. I want to tell you that these stories are all front page stories. That means they are important. They've been prioritized as tops. All right. So that's headline number five came from the China Daily. You're with Street Now News. I'm Terry Dwayne Ashford. I'm your your journalist and broadcaster chief. I'm also your in the car seat, that guy. In the car, see that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford. Oh, yeah. Goes by no other name other than Terry Dwayne. Because you made me in the car, see that guy. Terry Dwayne Ashford. In the car, see that guy, Terry Dwayne Ashford.